So here we are in front of Tinho Verde, which is the organization who is helping us with our adventure from Italy to Slovenia by bike. They are a social corporation and they have many social projects and the one that we are involved with is, the, is called Recycle where they collect bikes around the city here in Parma. Uh, there are so many bikes around and the people just leave it behind so they collect the bikes, they refurbish and then they resell it. So we partner up with them, they provide two bikes for us plus some equipment and the clothing and uh, so then we can go from here to Slovenia. Yeah. Well tomorrow we go to the office in where they will fix the bikes and we'll get to know a bit of the history of our bikes, where the bike came from, if they found it, if it was donated or stolen or whatever. So or if there is no story at all. Or if there is no story <laughs> at all, it's just a bike. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, thank you Cino Verde. Yes, and, thank you so much. Uh, let's carry on. So it took like um, two weeks from the time, no two weeks or what, three, three weeks since the time we spoke with them. About? Since the first time we spoke with Singo Verdi. Yeah, about two weeks. Yeah, so two weeks they made us a new bike, they look awesome. We came here three days ago to see how they looked like and uh, some parts of the bike are brand new, so they want to make sure we're gonna get the best for our journey. And they did a great job. We accompanied them on the assembly of the bikes. In fact, as Luigi was working, he was telling us all he knew about it. And seriously, he really knows about bike. It, it was great to hear someone explaining something that he truly loves. You know, it, it's clearly that he loves what he does. And which is actually totally in line with the Monday feelings. It was also awesome to see him assembling the bikes that, in a week, we would take to Slovenia. Particularly because most of it was actually recycled. So they have two offices here. One of these, one of them is this one, which is next to the train station, so people can come. And as you can see, there are lots of bikes parked here because people take the train and go to work or they arrive here and take the bike, whatever. And here they did one of the offices so they can uh, fix the bikes and collect some of the old bikes. And here's the place where our bi bikes are being done. So we are 10 days away from our trip, uh, I'm starting to get so anxious. Um, two days ago we started doing some exercise on the park to see if uh, I make up all my physics, if that makes even sense. Uh, and I have pain all over my body, but that's good. I prefer to feel pain now than during our trip. It will be tough. I think we'll be walking like around 60 kilometers a day. I've never done anything like that before. But I also think it's not only my body, I need to prepare my, my mind first. So every day I try to do the same meditation and think about the journey that is coming and uh, I look forward, but I don't know how it's going to be, so let's see. So we are one week away from the trip, today is Monday, we depart you know, on Sunday and we just came to pick up the bikes, see how they look like and we can finally start practicing for real, for our big journey.
Then, we finally started practicing with the bikes instead of just jogging in the park. We knew it wasn't enough time to practice, but that's life. To make things even slightly more worried before leaving, the first day we planned to practice, it was raining. Well, we left regardless, as it was a scenario which would probably happen during the trip anyway. The first day it was like meeting someone for the first time but instead of a person was the road and instead of feelings were the cars and the trucks. Our main concern really was about security, like if the vehicles would respect us on the road. The first day gave us a lot of confidence as we felt very respect on their territory. Second day, the sun shone and everything seemed to be brighter. We went to cycle around the countryside of Parma, around the Parco Nazionale, and then back. Going through the countryside gave a taste of what the trip would look like. We had the sun, but it was wind and cold. At the same time we were sweating, and there were lots of insects on our faces and eyes. We came back the day quite tired. We only had one more day of practicing as we must not have worn ourselves out. So we took the time to visit the neighbor city, Colorno, which was about 20 kilometers away from Parma. They have a beautiful palace with an even more beautiful garden. On our way back, we passed in Luigi's office for the last checkout and then went home to spend the day before leaving organizing our house. It was our last night in the house as well. We are going to leave some of our stuff with some friends to embark into this adventure with absolutely no strings attached to anything. At night, we packed all of our stuff and prepared the bikes for our departure early next morning. Then, it hit us. So what's up, T? I think you're crazy. <laughs> Look at our bags. The idea came up and we were really excited. But now that you see, <laughs> I, I'm scared. The thing is, um, more than half of our stuff are electronics, like our camera is here. Here is the drone, which you can see is huge. And uh, so we have to bring it up everything because we want to produce content along the way. But look at that. <laughs> and everything is um, it's a DIY. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like we went for the professional stuff that really makes look like... This kind of stuff is happiness. <laughs> like you found that on the street, you found the, 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 the wood boxes on the street. I think you're crazy.
Mano ou meu rabo? Foda, né? Caralho, velho. Aqui o bullying. Oi? 